want you to listen. Hallelujah. You know what people say? They got the audacity. I had a woman to say it to me one time. They have the audacity to say, well, God's blessing me. He's hearing my prayers. Hallelujah. He's blessing the church. He's blessing, he's blessing, he's blessing. Well, let me tell you, in the book of Malachi, hallelujah, the Lord told the priest, he said, if you have not lent the heart to give glory to my name, he said, I will curse your blessings. Amen. Hallelujah. He blessed now, you know what God does? God is so wonderful that he lets it rain on the just and the unjust. God blesses people. But you know what God does? If they will not give honor to God, praise the Lord, and they won't do right, God will curse their blessings. He said in the third chapter, will a man rob God? He said, wherein did we rob thee? He said, in tithes and offerings. Huh? Oh, my Lord. But you know what he said? They got a curse on them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Got a curse on them. Hallelujah. Got a curse on the blessings. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In the book of Numbers. 32 and 23. Joshua said, Be sure your sins will find you out. Praise the Lord. You know something? God, He might not get you for doing something wrong right off the start. Down the road, He's going to get you. Amen. He's going to get you. Praise the Lord. And you know what people will say? Oh my God, what in the world, Lord? Mm -hmm. God will get you. Mm -hmm. Be sure your sins will, will find you out. Praise the Lord. I, got it. I want to turn to the book of uh, uh, the, the book of Numbers. Numbers 22 and 1. And I'm going to have to go through this. Uh, fast, praise the Lord, and, and I'm going to, let's drop down to the seventh verse. What happened was, Balak, he sent Moab uh, unto Balaam to get Balaam to come up there because the children of Israel, they were mighty, and they were many, and he knew he couldn't take them, so they wanted Balak to curse those people, the children of Israel. And they sent uh, people to Balak. And he told them, he said, well, let me go and pray and see God, find out what God wants me to do. And the Lord said, who are those people? Who are they? You know what? God knows them that are His. You better quit fooling with them people that are not God's people. You better leave them alone. If God don't know them, then you better not know them. Amen. But the Bible said, know them that labor among you. Hallelujah. God told Balaam, he said, don't you go with them. Don't you go. And when Balaam told those messengers that God said, he can't go with you. I can't go with you. And you know what they did? They sent in more messengers down there. Mm -hmm. And Balaam said, well, let me go seek the Lord. God had already told him not to go. Praise the Lord. But you know what God did? Now, as I said again, you better be careful because, see, God said, told the disciples, He said, if they'll not hear you and your words, He said, you let them alone. Let him alone. Now, Balaam, God told Balaam, you go on with him. And God 
was angry with Balaam. Balaam got on his little donkey and here he goes. And did you know what? Praise the Lord. That donkey could see that angel standing in front of him with a sword. Hallelujah. The donkey could see it, Sister Jean, but Balaam couldn't. And that donkey, he was trying to get out of the way. And he was trying to keep from being killed. He even slammed Balaam's leg and his foot into a wall. And Balaam didn't know it. And he wanted to kill the donkey for doing that to him. Hallelujah. And you know what? God let that donkey speak. Praise the Lord. Why you why you won't kill me for? Why you won't kill me for? And all of a sudden, God brought Balaam through this narrow way. Praise the Lord. And the Lord opened up Balaam's eyes and let him see that angel. Praise the Lord. Did you know what? A lot of people need to ask God to open their eyes and let them see where they're going. And whenever that God, that angel told Balaam, if that donkey hadn't have fell and hadn't have done what he did, he said, I was going to kill you. The angel was going to kill Balaam. And Balaam told him, said, I've sinned. Let me get back to the Lord. Hallelujah. Some people need their eyes opened up and see this. Hallelujah. But they can't see the light for darkness, for sin. But you see, Balaam confessed his sin. He said, I've sinned. And Jesus Christ said, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us. Praise the Lord. And the book of Psalms said, if God should mark iniquity, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with Him. Hallelujah. Turn from darkness. Turn away from darkness. Hallelujah. Listen. Apostle Paul said, What does light have with darkness? Praise the Lord. You've got people that are supposed to be in the light that are fooling with people that are in darkness. Right. Praise the Lord. And you know what they're saying? Well, we're just trying to help them. No, you know what's happening? They're helping you. To go their way is what's happening. Praise the Lord. God didn't make it that way. God told His people to stay away from the nations. The other nations. Praise the Lord. And you know why He did that? Because that the other nations would turn God's people's hearts away from Him unto the gods of the other nations. Praise the Lord. But they want to say, well, we're trying to help them. No, it doesn't work that way. Praise the Lord. They are turning you over to what they believe. What have, What fellowship hath light with darkness? Amen. You can't fool with darkness. Hallelujah. 